Hi, today I'm going to introduce the built-in parameter types of that Cucumber supports. Hi, thanks for being here. I'm Nilton Santos and I am an Oracle certified Java developer with over 20 years of experience and I am the founder of thecraftofprogramming.com. Thecraftofprogramming.com is an educational website focused on teaching general computer science concepts, programming languages, APIs and software tools. If this is the first time that you are here, then please subscribe, like, hit that notification bell since I publish content regularly. Also, leave a comment below and share this video with friends. Let's get started with today's video. So, I have here a simple feature file, which, um, you know, has already the steps implemented to show you all the supported built-in uh, parameter types uh, for Cucumber Java. So, if you write um, a simple step, I have one Cucumber in my belly, then this step here, okay, you can capture it with, um, you know, basically all the um, primitive types in Java. So the one can be captured with, you know, just a one byte with the byte uh, type. So notice that Cucumber has a parameter type, a built-in parameter type called byte, which matches the Java byte, okay? And uh, for floating point types, you know, Cucumber, just like you would have expect, also has a float uh, and we can use float to capture it. So uh, let's just very quickly run this just for you to make sure that this thing actually works. So as you see, it works. Um, you see that, that, you know, the thing got printed here. So um, in addition to bytes, um, you know, Cucumber also supports shorts, which is, uh, you know, the two bytes um, values in Java. So as you would have expect a short in parameter type in Cucumber maps with a short uh, built-in Java type. And um, so if you want me to write, to run this, so let's run it as well. So note that it, it supported and it runs. And uh, last but not least, in terms of the integral types, oops, not this one, I meant this. We covered short, so now we have the int let me still use the float here. I don't want to introduce the 64-bit value yet, double. And let's rerun it, just to make sure that this it's still running. So notice that this is supported. Let's introduce the double, you know, which is captured by both, and let's run it. Okay, so as you see, uh, Cucumber has, you know, a very rich mapping of its parameter types to the built-in, you know, integral and floating point types in Java, okay? So typically for, you know, most of your tests, you would be using int for integral types in Java or doubles if you want, you know, floating point types. That's what you would use. But, you know, Cucumber does not stop there. So Cucumber also supports uh, the, um, you know, Java, um, you know, wrappers, primitive wrappers, as they are called, uh, uh, you know, reference types. So I have here all these steps. Let's cover all of them at once, because part of this stuff we've already covered in previous lessons. Okay, this is just for completion. So as, as I said, as you would have expect, all of the wrappers for Java are supported, uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a automatically in Cucumber. So the byte uh, wrapper type is supported and one important thing to note here is that they are in order for you to support them or to capture them um, you have to use the um, capture all um, you know parameter type in cucumber so if you use the capture all parameter type in cucumber then and and your method accepts or expects a byte has a parameter type byte then cucumber automatically converts that value onto whatever, you know, parameter type you are specifying. So with this Cucumber expression, the value is going to be converted to a byte. Uh, this value is going to be converted to a short, to an integer, to a long, to a float, to a double, to a big integer, and to a big decimal, okay? 
and um, what I'm doing here is I'm actually writing steps for each of those values passing you know values that are appropriate to those types and then printing them out okay for now let's um, comment the strings and just keep with the wrappers and let's execute that So as you see, everything passed, you know, the built-in types as that we already covered have been passed. And then, you know, the wrappers for byte, short, integer, long, float, double, big integer, and big decimal are uh, in a work and fully supported out of the box in um, Cucumber for Java, okay? So remember for the wrapper types and any, you know, enums and objects in general in Java, you have to use the, um, if using a cucumber expression, you have to use the capture all or capture anything if you want, if you will. So last for completion here, let's talk about the strings. So the strings is a concept that I've already introduced previously. We've been using it, you know, in the previous lessons, but just for completion, because we're talking about, you know, built-in cucumber parameter types, uh, you know, just for completion in this lesson, I'll talk about them. So strings basically come in two flavors, if you will, or are captured in two different ways in Cucumber. One is a, um, if you use in your Cucumber expression the word string, then it captures strings that have spaces. For example, uh, you know, Newton space centers. It will be captured by this. And as you can see, if you click there, you see that it's captured here. Whereas a string uh, just a word, you know, without spaces, it's captured by the word uh, parameter type. So again, word captures a single string, the string uh, in Cucumber captures, um, you know, uh, strings that have spaces, okay? And uh, just a detail here, strings in Cucumber can be represented with either double quotes or single quote, okay? So let's just run this and make sure that it passes. And as you see, our strings have been actually, you know, correctly captured. Okay. So this concludes the lesson of uh, the built-in cucumber parameter types. Thanks for watching.